Here are another 10 Marvel movie details you might have missed. In Avengers Infinity War, listen to the background music when Tony gets a call from Pepper. Yeah. God, no, please tell me. Honey, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so the music is the same as when Steve Rogers sacrifices himself in his first movie and calls Peggy. I don't know what to do. There's not enough time. This thing's moving too fast and it's heading for New York. The difference is that Cap didn't return, but Tony did. Well, everyone else died, so there's that. In Avengers Endgame, there's this deleted scene. How long did you fight these guys? About two or three hours. The Chitauri, the suckiest army in the galaxy. Why didn't you just blow up the mothership? I think they removed it because they didn't want to diminish the hardships the Avengers faced in fighting the Chitauri army. At the start of Captain America, the first Avenger, Howard Stark says this. Should withstand your average German bayonet, I'm just not going to attack you with a pocket knife. The funny thing is, this is exactly what a Hydra member does at the end of the movie, attacking him with a pocket knife. Bruh. At the start of Avengers Endgame, when Tony and Nebula are stuck in space. You don't need to do that. The reason Nebula reacts like this when Tony score is because she was always punished by Thanos whenever she lost to Gamora. My father would have Gamora and me battle one another in training. Every time my sister prevailed, my father would replace a piece of me with machinery. That's why she becomes defensive, thinking Tony might hurt her if she loses. Fair game. Good sport. You have fun? It was fun. At the start of Iron Man 3, Look at this scene. My chances. That's risky. At least let me get you like a... If you look closely, you can see these strange red metal parts. This is actually an early hint at the Hulkbuster suit that Tony will later use against the Hulk in Age of Ultron. <laughs> in Avengers Infinity War, why did Thanos send his minions to get the Mind Stone from Vision? Wanda. <laughs> Well, Vision is actually too strong for Thanos and could potentially defeat him. If you look here, Ultron was able to one-shot Thanos. Fascinating. It's enough slicing! That's why Thanos chose to send his expendable troops first to try and get the stone before taking it himself. Why did Thanos wait until Infinity War to collect all the Infinity Stones? While it's mainly because he didn't yet know the location of the Soul Stone, I think he also waited until Odin died. Odin, being the protector of the Nine Realms and one of the strongest beings in the universe, would have been a significant obstacle. With Odin's long experience in war, Thanos couldn't have acted against him effectively. Even that. I'm gonna kick your ass. In Spider-Man Homecoming, look at this scene. You gotta get better at this part of the job. Hey, that's gonna dissolve in two hours. But in Spider-Man No Way Home, Doctor Strange says this. Don't do this. I've been dangling over the Grand Canyon for 12 hours. I know, hours. I know, I know. I think when Tony created the Spider-Man suit, he noticed that Peter's web fluid dissolved quickly, so he created his own web fluid that now lasts for 12 hours. You got a bridge, I know what a girl sound like. I'm not a girl! Oh, Excuse me, it's ma'am! Bruh! It is ma'am! In the ending of Avengers Endgame, look at this scene. Don't do anything stupid till I get back. How can I? You're taking all this stupid with you. This is actually Bucky pulling his Uno reverse card on Cap. Don't do anything stupid until I get back. How can I? Taking all the stupid with you. Stupid? In Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 1, look at this scene. Some spiders change colors to blend into their environment. The spider ability that Peter mentions is an early hint for us, because it's the same exact ability that Miles Morales has in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Spider-Man turned invisible? Not in my universe. You just poked me in my eye. Listen, look, and listen, and learn. Back. 